Hey guys, PR's workout of the day. Today we're going through our skill strength, our strict pull-ups, ring dips, and double unders. Now last week we did each movement every minute on the minute. This week you have two minutes to get through every movement, okay? So our goal is to get anywhere between three to five strict pull-ups followed with three to five ring dips into 20 to 40 double unders. Now, like I said, last week you had an entire minute to get the work done. So if you went to that higher rep scheme and kind of found yourself getting fatigued, you still have the entire minute to do the work. This time we're condensing that time. So you have two minutes to complete all of the work. So if you need to modify, that's fine. But what we want to try to focus on is holding a consistent rep scheme. Along with a consistent range of motion for each movement pattern, let's try to think about whether we can maintain three strict pull-ups with the three ring dips into 30 double unders. If you can hang on to that after the first couple rounds, we can always add a rep or two. I'd rather increase a rep or two at the end of the EMOM than taking reps away, okay? So we're gonna go through 10 rounds, 10 minutes of this. So that's five rounds through starting every second minute. After we're done with that skill focus, we're gonna move into a uh, nine minute AMRAP. Okay, now this is gonna consist of some dumbbells. We're gonna begin with eight dumbbell devil press. Now with the devil press, what we wanna focus on is chest is going to the ground between the dumbbells. So I've got my dumbbells apart, chest comes all the way down in between. From here, I'm gonna hop up, landing my feet wide. Kinda of think about weight back to those heels so we can hike those dumbbells back and taking it straight out of our head. As we come down, set them down to a good place so we can get our chest between the dumbbells again. Hop up, hike them back, take them straight out overhead. Once we're finished with that, then we're gonna go into 10 renegade rows. So once we get the dumbbells back down to the ground, we're gonna go ahead and keep that wide stance between our feet, keeping our hips level. We're gonna focus on pulling those dumbbells to that rib cage. Make sure that we're pulling it from our shoulders and not pulling it from our arms, okay? So it's really important that we're not pulling the dumbbell to the shoulder but thinking about more to the side of the ribs. So we can use our back versus just our bicep. Once we finish 10, we're gonna take it for a 200 meter run. So nine minutes, as many rounds as possible. Eight double press, 10 renegade rows, 200 meter run. If you get caught out on that run, remember every 50 meters counts as a rep. So push that pace to hit that next marker. Have fun guys.